In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Oakrite's encapsulation systems. Yeah, from a base product, it is very green. It is recycled, so therefore it is sustainable. Dan here, who is training the boys to carry out the taping. We use cellulose insulation on the natural wall system, and that is a recycled newsprint. Everybody thinks of Oakrides as an oak framing company. Well, we are, but also, just as importantly, we build the encapsulation system that runs around the outside of your home. At Oakrides, we have two panel systems. We have right wall and right wall natural. And it will be right wall natural that we're principally talking about today. And this is our breathable wall system, and it is the system that we use mainly when we're building passive houses. Here with me, I have Steve, who is been an oak frame and panel designer for 15 years since 2006. All our projects are bespoke, so you have to think about how the panels go together, the size of the panels, access to site. Obviously, the less joins in the panel, the better it is for air tightness and fixing together and speed. Yeah, it's all about yeah, getting the, the look, plus also the ease of the build, and also making it as simple to build and more cost effective for the clients as well. The reasons that a customer may choose to run with having the oak frame and the encapsulation system is because the integration of the two systems, the oak frame and the panel, makes it run more smoothly. The team designing the panel are also designing the oak frame, which helps just the, the relationship between those two products and makes it run more smoothly on site, I would say. Yeah, I also think it means that it's easier for them to manage the build, their main contractor to do the work. They do the groundworks, we come in, put the frame, put all the panels up. Yeah, and if we do fit the joinery as well, and then they are then got that building is weatherproofed, they can just put the roofing on and off they go. Well, 90% of the products within the construction of the wall are, they use OSB and different boarding on the outside, which is all recycled waste materials. And again, the cellulose is a recycled material. So yeah, from a base product, it is very green. And you're getting very little cold bridging running through the system there as well, aren't you? Yeah, so that virtually, virtually none and you know, everything's built in the dry. You're not building it in the English weather where all your insulation's wet before you put it into the wall. Whereas here it goes out completely yeah, all dry and all, all wrapped. Closed. And it's then you know, speed on site as well. Steve, thank you very much. Okay, no problem. Steve and the panel design team pass their files down to the production plant. And here we cut all the components and once the components are cut, the first operation is to come onto the panel making machine. This machine here will nail the panel together. We'll put the plywood onto the smart ply onto the outside of the panel. The panel will then run up onto the turning table here. The tape is a very important part of any panel production and also the installation of the panels on the site because the tape goes over the joints of the ply and then we need to tape the panels together when they're installed on site. So the panel with the butterfly tables is turned over. This is an open panel here, ready to be moved on for insulation to be installed. We use cellulose insulation on the natural wall system and that is a recycled newsprint. It is breathable, it is fire resistant, rodent resistant. The insulation has to be pumped to 60 kilograms a cubic meter in density to avoid any settlement. So we actually pump to around about 68, 70 kilograms a cubic meter in density to make sure that this insulation for the lifetime of the oak frame will stay within that panel, allowing the wall to breathe and to also give a density that will keep the home cool in the summer. So here we have panels finished, ready to go out to site. Standing up, this is how we'll load them onto the lorries, ready to go and then the crane on site will lift them off. Harvey looks out of the fabrication of the dormer windows. Harvey, how long does it take you to build one dormer window from scratch all the way through to completion? So the whole process usually takes about a day and a half in the workshop. So a day and a half in the workshop and the advantage of that on site are that you know, rather than me climbing up and down the scaffolding in the rain on a rainy day and the wind and the weather trying to build here, you're in the dry, so for all your taping, all your fixing, can be carried out in a controlled environment. And while in my mind I think I might be able to do all this work in a day and a half on site, in reality I'm probably going to be there for at least a couple Double of days, that, yeah. probably over two days. Yeah. 
we have the insulation on the inside here, so this means we have no cold bridging. So we've got insulation, dormer construction onto a panel. The taping is very important because as with anything, you can have the best insulation and it's all about do you have any gaps. You can have the best membrane and it's actually how well is it joined together because if a join is not carried out correctly, that will be where the air will leak into the house. Today we've got some training going on for the site teams, so when the panel goes out to site, you're all connecting the panels together and they need to be taped correctly. Dan is from Sega, which is a type of tape that we use on both the internal of the panel, but also on the external of the panel. So different tapes to different areas. Spray adhesive is very strong, joined together correctly, you can actually lift the weight of a person. Today we've been principally looking at natural wall or the natural wall and roof system produced by Oakrites. Why would you choose to have this encapsulation system with your oak frame? Well, it is an integrated product. The oak frame team are looking at the oak frame, making sure it looks as best as possible, gives as much character, gives as much wow factor and impact. But sitting beside them, you have the panel team who are looking to make sure that the panel system works seamlessly with the oak frame. Going forwards then onto site, you have the erection crew and the foreman who is leading the team will not only be leading the team to erect your oak frame, but also he will be responsible for erecting the walls, the roof, the floor system of the natural panel. The principal benefits really are breathability, you have a, a recycled material, cellulose newsprint or a recycled newsprint. It is recycled, so therefore it is sustainable. A normal insulated panel will take about three hours to heat up in the daytime on a hot sunny day. With the natural wall system, the decrement delay is 11 hours. So therefore, by the time your, the sun has broken through and is heating your house, the day is cooling, so the ambient temperature throughout the year is more equal. Overall, what you are gaining by running with this system is just both summer and winter, a much more healthy and comfortable living environment. If you would like to take your project to that, the ultimate step, then really that is Passive House. And that is a German energy efficiency system. You'll have an energy efficient home that uses virtually no energy to keep it warm. So really that is the most sustainable form of insulated home that you can go for. To date, Oak Rites have built two fully certified passive houses. And at this moment, we are the only oak framing company to have built a passive house. It is uh, easy to be able to say we built to a passive house standard, but to gain that certification really shows the attention to detail that we run to, to take the projects all the way through to that final signature on the certificate and that plaque on your wall. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Press like, leave a comment and also subscribe.